Hey y'all, it's me, Marae. Welcome back. Um, today I decided to just take y'all along with me while I make my daughter's lunch for the day. Today we're having pigs in a blanket with apple slices and strawberry slices with some vanilla cupcake goldfish and some flavored water. Um, I actually got this idea from my sisters to make this video so I really hope that you all enjoy it and it gives you a little bit of inspiration on some meal ideas that your kids should love so enjoy the video so for me I make my pigs in a blanket um, will not call it from scratch but I use the uh, Pillsbury Crescent Rolls um, you can either use the butter flaky or the original these are the original um, and it is easier if you have a pizza cutter but for some reason our pizza cutter disappeared a little while back and I keep forgetting to buy a new one so I am going to have to cut um, you'll see me cutting with my knife to thin out these um, like crescent triangles pretty much and here I'm just putting up these chocolate chip cookies that I made earlier so that I can use this pan to place my piece in the blanket on So right here, pretty much, you just want to make sure that you cut the crescent rolls into three. So pretty much just cut it twice um, and that should be big enough to, or small enough, I should say, to roll up the Little Smokies. I'm sorry, I used Little Smokies, um, the Hillshire Farm pack. Uh, you can find them any grocery store. Uh, they're little sausages that we used to eat all the time when I was little, so they work perfectly for small pigs in a blanket. So after you cut them, you just pretty much do what I'm doing. You just roll them up and stick them on. I personally like to use parchment paper just because it prevents them from sticking so like sticking to the pan so I've seen people use aluminum foil but I just personally prefer parchment paper or anything baking wise my daughter's decided to kind of jump in and try to try to help um, but for baking I pretty much usually use the uh, baking instructions on the can of the crescent rolls but this time it's it said 350 I decided to do them at 325 so that they bake a little bit slower and don't burn on the bottom um, so you can just take your preference on which one you want to do please note that if you do try to roll out the crescent rolls on your counter like I did it does leave your counter sticky so you want to immediately spray your counter down and wipe it off or else you'll kind of have like dried crust on your counter and I don't like that so I just go ahead and clean as I go that's just how I was taught and it actually makes it easier and it's a lot better for when I finish cooking discovered the camera so she is about to do her yeah that so while everything is in the oven I am going to go ahead and make their sides um, which are gonna be apples uh, apple slices strawberries and 
cold fish, vanilla cupcake, cold fish, and some flavored water. Um, in our house, we usually just, when we buy our strawberries or our fruit, especially strawberries, we go ahead and wash them off, cut them up, and put them in a container so that it's just easier to just pour them out during the week. a little bit more time left over while the pigs in the blanket finished browning um so it's cleanup time so we decided to step into the living room um and go ahead and clean up the toys while all the food finishes baking and it takes no time because we all do it together um now it's time to take the pigs in the blanket out wait they were not brown yet so i decided to put them back in um and just go ahead and dry the dishes were getting a little impatient so I decided to let them come and watch bread bake so um it kept them entertained for just a couple of minutes until the timer went off um and it was time to take them out and now I'm just taking them out and go ahead and put them on a plate so that they can stop browning on the bottom and then I'm going to transfer them to plates and then we are all done I really hope that this helped somebody out with some inspiration on some lunch ideas for your kiddos. Um, thank you so much for watching 